So everyone's heard of the word utopia, but what most people don't know is that it's actually a pun created by a man called Sir Thomas More. In the early 1500s, Thomas More was Lord Chancellor to King Henry VIII before Henry had him decapitated. Apparently, Henry had never heard the phrase bros before hoes, but that's a story for another time. About 20 years before his execution, in the year 1516 AD, Thomas More published a little book called Utopia. Now, the word utopia, E-U-T-O-P-I-A, means good place, but if you take the E off of the front, then it becomes utopia, which means no place. This is important because Thomas More had to pretend his utopia was just a silly fantasy in order to disguise the fact that he was the true father of communism. You see, Marx and Engels published the Communist Manifesto in 1848, 332 years after Utopia was published, and it turns out that they were getting on about pretty much the same things, except Thomas More wasn't quite so upfront about it. At the end of Utopia, More says this, I freely admit that there are many features of the Utopian Republic which I should like, though I hardly expect, to see adopted in Europe. I think what he meant to say was that we have nothing to lose but our chains, and the screams of the bourgeoisie will ring in our ears for days to come. But he was a man of subtlety, so I guess he wasn't quite ready to say that. Of course, it is still debated to this day whether Thomas More actually meant what he said about communism, or whether he was just joking when he said it. So feel free to join the conversation by commenting with your opinions on the revolution of the proletariat, or the inscription of More's name into the obelisk of revolutionary thinkers in Moscow.